Ahoy hoy, and welcome to this tutorial for setting up the new N64 controller on the Switch for the Nintendo Switch Online on Steam, so you can use it for all your PC games um, and anything that you can boot up through Steam. So we're going to go through how to connect your controller, how to set, make it so Steam recognizes it, and then the button mappings and how they work in game. So step one, which is actually the hardest step in this whole thing, is that you need one of these um, Nintendo Switch Online N64 controllers, which are perpetually out of stock. They come in stock occasionally, but they've been out over a year now. So hopefully if you're watching this, you managed to get your hands on one. But yeah, this is definitely the trickiest part. But once you've got the controller, the rest of it's easy. So let's move on to connecting it to the PC. Unfortunately, you can't connect the controller using the USB cable as it's just not recognized on PC. You can use third-party programs like Betterjoy to make it read uh, on the PC and that'll read it as like an Xbox 360 controller. The issue with this is that some of the extra buttons like the home button and the capture button don't get mapped to any kind of inputs because it thinks it's an Xbox 360 controller so you can't utilize those extra buttons which you really need on the N64 controller. Therefore we're going to be connecting the N64 controller using Bluetooth so whether you've already got a built-in Bluetooth in your laptop or PC or I just got a little USB one which works perfectly well and wasn't very expensive you can then turn it on on your PC and then you can search for devices. I find every time you connect it you need to remove the N64 controller it doesn't seem to re connect every time but that's fine I'm showing you how to connect anyway so you want to add Bluetooth devices click just the generic Bluetooth one not the controllers or anything and it will search and then you need to hold down the little sort of um, sync button on the top of the controller which uh, you should see here and then it will show up and then it will say N64 controlling and then your device is ready to go and that's it it's connected to your PC now and hopefully Steam will pick it up like it has there but if it hasn't we'll go through how it connects to steam instead right now now that you've got your controller connected to your pc via bluetooth you can now set up it on steam so you need to go to steam settings then go down to controllers or controller and uh, then select the uh, general controller settings here this will open this big pitch thing and then you need to make sure you've got this generic gamepad configuration ticked um, and then after that it should then detect the N64 controller. There was a firmware update for Steam later on last year which added support for all the Nintendo Switch Online controllers including the N64 controller in its native state which is great and it means that we can have it connected and use it not just to navigate the menus in big picture mode but also to play games, any games that are booted through Steam which is fantastic. So next up we are going to move on to configuring your controller for use on modern games on Steam. So next up we need to boot up Big Picture Mode. We are now here in Big Picture Mode where we can actually configure our controls on the N64 controller because by default some of these buttons are bound to sort of crazy things. So first of all you need to go to your Steam library, select the game you want to change it on and then go to Manage Game and Controller Configuration here. This will bring up this big, this sort of image of your controller. This is a config that I made earlier. The main changes you need to look out for are which the actual C buttons are bound to. So if you want it to be on the right on the right stick, that is actually the back button. So that's been changed there. The left bumper, right bumper have been changed accordingly. The underneath controller cam, annoyingly, the right trigger is actually for uh, right stick down. And you'll see also in the bottom left as well that the X and Y buttons have been changed to making the right stick go left and up. So this will act as the four C buttons going up and down. And if you're not sure how to change that, you just click on one of these. You ensure you, instead of just click on it, you hold up, you sort of hover over it and then you select up on either the D-pad or the control stick. And you can change the direction of the control sticks when binding on Steam, just in case you weren't sure how to do that. And here I am doing it again to bind X to right stick going to the left. And there you have it. This template will work pretty well for most modern games or even any emulators you have in that are used to an Xbox 360 controller as their input. This will have the C buttons masked as like the right stick, which will then go back to the C buttons on the emulator or can be used in like first person games to look around. Uh, we'll see an example of that in a moment. You can also export these configs to share with other people so um, if you search for Skyrim Special Edition you will be able to find this config but I'll also put a link in the description to show you the direct config files so you can make your own based on that. 
And now it's time to try it out, so I boosted up Skyrim, so let's give this a test. As you can see, the config's loaded there in the bottom corner, and go into the game. So, Skyrim's notorious for not being able to support of dual input, which some games you can use to get around the whole input problem using PC and controller inputs, unless it's one or the other. But as you can see, the C buttons are working great as sort of pseudo right stick. I can draw my weapon, I can jump, sprint with the B button, I've been messing around with the controls on this. And if you're not happy with anything on any point, you can press the little home button and it will bring up this um, controller configuration tab. I can just open it and I can change on the fly in game any of these buttons which I'm not happy with as well as doing the in-game mapping as well but I guess it's a matter of preference and when you're happy with these configs you can save them you can export them I'll try and put a link to these configs in the description yeah turn to the game and um, yeah play some Skyrim and uh, make full use of all the buttons and everything we have available. Pretty good. I can even dual wield. Um, which all works pretty well. So yeah, that's uh, how it sort of works in game. And then the home button to exit. So it's really as easy as that. So there you have it, that's how you set up this N64 controller to work on PC and Steam specifically to work on uh, modern games on the system. It all works really well, provided you're connected via Bluetooth. I hope you found this sort of tutorial useful. If you did, then please leave a like, comment, and even uh, subscribe to the channel where I'm gonna be playing more modern games with the N64 controller. And if you have any suggestions for games to try, as well as Skyrim potentially in an extended look, then let me know in the comments below. Until next time, goodbye.